Good afternoon, badass artists. I am Mia Luyando. I'm back today working on our mocha skin tone. And when I left you on Wednesday, we had just finished her face and neck area, and I hadn't added any of the dress or the hair, anything like that. We had talked about only working on her eyes and jewelry. Uh, so I have finished that. I have worked that in. We are working in the Ladies of Loredale book. And I thought, okay, let's, uh, let's just work on her eyes today and maybe some of these larger pieces of jewelry just to get the reflections and all that pretty stuff. So, okay, uh, since we are in this already, I thought let's, uh, let's give her some pretty green eyes. And I'm going to start, we're using, um, we had started with Faber-Castell, so I thought, okay, let's just keep on with that. I'm going to start with a lighter color. This is number 779. I'm just going to go in here. Let me get you guys set here. I'm going to go around um, the bottom part of her eye and just add some lighter tones. I'm just kind of grabbing and pulling just um, some of these lighter highlights here. I'm going to do that to both sides. And also, since we are using this pretty green yellow color, I want to give her just a little bit of, oh, we're back to the squeaky pencils. I wanted to give her just a little bit of a, an, an eye shadow up here. I think that'll look nice with her red. I have absolutely no idea why these pencils are, it must be the paper. This, I don't know. I really don't know why they're squeaking, but okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to get a kind of a, well, it's a medium, medium green. This one is number 777. It's kind of a, it's definitely a, a blue based, more of a Kelly green. I'm going to grab right over here close to the pupil area. And I'm just gonna sort of pull, pull down right through here. And on both sides. And remember, when you're working on eyes, the more details that you add, the more realistic it looks. really dark, kind of an olive -y color, uh, number 760. And I'm gonna grab the bottom and pull up just a little, like uh, little, little flicks, like little eyelashes, except going up. Kind of want those outer area, that outer, outer ring of her iris to be a little bit darker we can work this olive color right into the Kelly color. And we don't want it to be solid. You know, we want them to, to be, you know, strategically placed. You can kind of see how those are laying down. So we're going to put just a touch of green on the lower. This is the, the darker color green. Just a little. And I'm going to get this darker brown color, number 745. And I'm just going to kind of add some little flecks right around the middle under the pupil area. This will give her some depth. And 
And remember, there are always some abnormalities in everybody's eyes. So here and there, just add a little spot or a, a little abnormality. Especially with lighter color eyes, there are always little spots and colors. And the more details that you add, the more realistic the eye begins to look. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to take a kind of a peachy pink color. This is number 791. I'm going to go into the corner of her eye. And I'm just going to very lightly. Everyone has that little pink part in the eye usually kind of works its way around. It doesn't have to be, you know, shocking. And also everyone has just tiny little veins and I usually just add a couple of little tiny squiggly lines. Nothing over the top. Now, while we have this darker brown color, um, I usually make some little shadowy lines around the temple area. She doesn't have a lot of temple visible, but this is just suggestions. Everybody has veins in their temple area, and sometimes they kind of pop up and make shadows and dips and, and whatever. Um, I usually kind of go in and just, as you can see, I'm just barely giving that little suggestion it's something small, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it, it's just something that I do. And sometimes it shows up a little more than others. It depends on the light. But it's something that I add to portraits, just a little extra depth. Now I'm going to um, very slightly deepen the corner of her lips. I'm working on these pouty glossy lips. And I'm going to pick that peachy color. It's the same one, 791. I'm going to highlight her lips. We want her to have a natural look, but she does need a little bit of color. Just kind of touching here and there but I think she might need a little bit more color. Okay now I was looking at her jewelry and I thought okay do I want to make these pearls? Do I want to make them red? Do I want to make them green? And we can do pretty much whatever we want with them but I thought hmm, I kind of want to make them um, kind of want to make them pearls. Uh, but you know that's we have a lot of other um, jewelry in this book that we're going to be working on that's that's kind of pearl in nature so I thought well let's go ahead and just stick with the green because we've already had them out for her eyes and we'll work on this top one um, I'm trying to get you in a good spot so I'm not bouncing you around sorry about that so we're going to take that dark olive green it's number 760 and I'm just going to work around the darker spot, these shadowy spots. And this is definitely not a faceted, this is more of a cabochon kind of uh, jewel but we will definitely get into facets and reflections and diamonds and those, those sorts of jewels later in this book and definitely in the next book, which is called Celestia. And it is all angels. So if you're interested in feathers and wings and um, 
actual gem stones with facets and so forth. Uh, that will be out sometime in August. Now I'm just kind of going around and darkening up the shadowy parts. of her jewelry. I'm going to grab um, kind of a, well, it's a little bit of a lighter um, number 721. It's still in that um, kind of olive family, but it's a little bit lighter. I'm going to add that color right in here. I'm not going to, you know, like completely saturate it, but I am going to add a bit more in here. squeaky pencils. It has to be. <laughs> it has to be the paper. Amazon. They've given us squeaky paper this time. Now I'm going to take that very lightest color that we used on our eyes. 779. And I'm not going to completely cover it, but I am going to go around the lightest parts. As you can see, I'm just kind of going over the whole thing in this circle, sort of bringing all those colors, all three of those colors, into one. I didn't go into these because I do think that I will um, leave these white and we can work on the actual um, metal, the uh, gold part of the metal. Um, I'm going to end the video there today because today was just uh, the jewels and the eyes. And if you would like to see this, uh, if you would like for me to go back and do this dress and hair, I can, I'm happy to do that. I can go back and do this again on a video and, um, you know, I'm very happy to do that. We still have the dress for our other, um, little fairy girl. She's up here. This one will be back, um, on Monday to do this dress and to finish her earrings so that we have, you know, we have that one coming and we have a few others. We have some see-through fabrics. We have some sheer fabrics and we're going to learn how to do uh, skin tones in a way that the fabric can go over and we still see the flesh uh, the flesh tones through the fabric. So we have those things coming up too. Another tutorial we have coming up is uh, raindrops on flower petals uh, so that we can see the uh, reflections of the water like it's like it's been raining and the, um, the, pe uh, the raindrops have uh, been caught on the petals of the flowers. So we have quite a few different things coming up in the next few days. Um, I hope that this has been helpful. If it has, let me know. If you'd like to see more 
jewels, more reflections, more facets, absolutely let me know. Um, it's helpful when I know what you guys would like to see. We also have a tutorial coming up on how to use all the different uses of white pencils. Um, how they blend, how they, um, you know, just different brands of white pencils also. Some have more pigments than others. Some work better on grayscale than others. So we've got a lot to go over. Um, if you've been uh, following the pan pastel journey, uh, we kind of had a little fail this afternoon, but we are regrouping and we're going to be working on some different ways to make our own pan pastels at home. So I hope you'll be joining us for that. Okay, everyone, I am going to close for now. It is Friday afternoon. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I will see you next time.